Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with a Technical Trader. It is Wednesday, the 28th of December. These are the charts of the day. Because we haven't covered the box of shorts in a while, and because the market cracked today, uh, and we may go lower here, let's take a look at my favorites at this point, at least the ones that look most promising. Unfortunately, Molly Corp is among that list. You can see it broke this little flag today um, with a crack and dropping up four points of 14%. There is some support around 21. I expect that to be tested shortly. That may be a quick three-point trade. Creighton. This is a uh, long consolidation in here. This p pattern, if it cracks here and takes out the 17 level, could fall precipitously to 14 and a half from 20 and change. To retest those lows. CVR Energy, massive top formation, cracked, bounced, and formed a bear wedge. It sure looks to me like this could have a dramatic drop into the 13-14 zone short term. Decker's Outdoor, um, Darling of Wall Street, finally head and shoulders, crack with a breakaway gap, bounced and then came down. Looks like if it cracks here, you could see a quick slide down to into the mid, low to mid 70s. HFC Highlight Frontier, just like CVR, massive topping formation, broke, snap back to moving average and trend line. And then in the last week or so, it's formed a nice little bear flag here. Let's take a quick look at it here. For me, this is a bear flag. And that pattern right there could end up triggering more selling if it's broken. Today it was down 62 cents or 2.6 percent, but they cracked that. We can see that fall into the um, high teens pretty quickly. MGA Magna. Um, Massive top was broken hard in August, bounced around, made lower lows, and snapped back to the gap, but failed, formed a new down channel, came down and bounced through that channel again, and then it failed again. You can see how this line was taken out just recently, snapped back to it. Today it rolled over 82 cents or 2.5%, but if we break down below this, we should at least test 29 three quarters 30, but if that is broken, we can see the stock slide into the mid-20s. Bungie, um, still looking ugly. Uh, this massive top information, which cracked in August and snapped back in, uh, in September, um, formed a wedge and then broke down again, formed a larger wedge over the last two months and broke down once again. Snapped back a few days here on low volume and then today dropped $1.42 or 2.5%, but it appears that it may take out the low and run into the low 50s, maybe 50, 51 zone. Abercrombie and Fitch, uh, been negative on the stock for a while. Triple top. Massive gap to the downside, bounced for a day or so right at support, and then cracked that with a gap. Very negative looking pattern. Gap here, gap here, bear wedge there. I'm looking for a move down to 41 and a half. EQT, is this a massive topping formation? We'll soon know. But this move down here, this little bear flag that formed right to the moving average, today dropped to dollar twenty-eight. And if it gets down underneath that line, look for a quick hit down towards forty-seven eight. BMC Software continues in a to slide and slide steadily after the big hit in, um, earlier in the year in uh, August. Stock bounced, formed a little bit of a bear wedge, and then made lower lows all the way down. Now this wedge here was broken today with another drop of 70 cents or two percent. But at the bottom of the channel's reach, we could see 30, 29, 30 range short term. NDSN looks extremely bearish to me. A massive top was broken here. A multi-month wedge formed double top up here in the 49 zone. Rolled over hard the last week and a half and formed this little bear wedge. Today it dropped 84 cents or 2 percent, but looks like it's about to crack. Retest the lows around 37 uh, at least and maybe run all the way down to the 32-3 zone. Franklin Resources, we've been negative on that for a while. Here's why. Sharp break, wedge, sharp break, wedge, another sharp break, and a massive wedge is formed now. If that breaks, we could see this come down quickly towards 80. Stay tuned on that one. Waters Corp, WAT, broke hard in, in August and been bouncing around for a couple months now. But if this is breached and this last little bounce was the weakest of all right here, you could see that roll over and roll over hard into the mid 60s. WPI Watson Farm, massive top perhaps. Sure looks like key neckline support is going to be tested shortly. And if that cracks, we can see this drop into the low 50s. FDS fact set. Now, that after breaking a topping formation here, it went all the way back from 79 up into a 105 range. Rolled over hard and bounced, and now completed a little head and shoulders here. 
right at the neckline. A crack here should test the lows around 79, and we break that. We can see that in the low 70s. And lastly, today's GMCR, which continues to look ugly. Broke hard here, wedged, broke hard here, wedged, and broke hard here. And now it's forming a little bear pennant. We cracked this to the downside. We can roll over and roll over hard and take this into the low 30s. So stay tuned on that. And all of these stocks, they look quite negative. Uh, let's see what the market does in the next few days. There are some stocks on the long side. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time today to talk about them. But um, good luck tomorrow. We'll see what happens.